all right so there's the new raid that is coming out on season of discovery and this is the loot table they have plenty of armor up here but we're going to be looking at the weapons for right now these are the one-handed weapons the daggers a this looks like a, a dagger does almost 20 damage a second which is really nice 1.2 and it increases the damage and healing done by magical spells so this is definitely going to be a like you know a mage one because they can heal now so and that could looks definitely looks good for mage you know uh, we get another dagger here 23 damage a second that's really that's pretty dang high 1.8 speed oh poisons target for four nature damage every two seconds for 20 seconds that looks good especially if, if you know in pvp you get that and you get those bleeds up those poisons up and you can just run or you don't even have to run this thing looks like it does a lot of damage imagine getting two of these they don't look unique so it looks like you can wear two of them at the same time so i don't know get the dagger of the willing sacrifice 13 damage a second 60 armor um this one is a 1.5 damage increases the damage and healing done by magical spells effect up to 12 for 12 also I'm not exactly seeing what's going on here versus this one. This one's just less damage per second, but higher uh, numbers. Also, that one would be the one you actually want, I would say. Now, self Sun Touch Crescent. Uh, this looks like a dagger, and it is 19 damage, 18.75 damage a second. Increases damage done by fire spells. Effects up to 9. Okay, that's a fire mage weapon right there, or a, a warlock weapon, a, des a destruction warlock weapon, maybe. You know, that one's pretty good. Uh, going down here oh we see an epic naga heart render uh 14.83 damage a second five strength so this is gonna go good for like uh anything really i mean it's good but for it'd be great for a warrior on the side big damage right here big epic is shari arbalist 18.75 damage seven plus 17 ranged attack power now the hunters they're going to be wanting this one. They're going to be wanting this one. You're going to run into a hunter into a battleground. And they're just going to one shot you probably. They're probably going to kill you within two bullets. Or two arrows I mean. Probably get another one here. The Iron Hired Air Blessed. 14.74 damage a second. Increased defense. It looks like a tanking one of course. For Prot Warriors or whatever else can use a bow. Which is Prot Warriors. Um, we got another one, Bale, Mud, and Blunderbuss, Blunderbuss, <laughs> 16 damage, uh, 6 agility, 16.8 agility, 16.8 damage, 6 agility, not bad. Alright, we got some wands, 30 damage a second, whoa boy, that's a big damage wand right there, if I'm, I'm not mistaken, I mean like, I haven't played the most, most classic. For these levels if I, if I remember right these this is pretty dang big number right here 30 damage a second five shadow resistance oh, it's gonna be hitting 75s so that's a that's a big wand right there phoenix ignition 30 damage a second as well on this one with plus five intellect if it was a priest or a mage i would or warlock anything i'd be wanting one of those i'd definitely be going after that but i'm playing paladin um, I might play another class. I'm not sure what else I'll play. Fist weapon, 18.93 damage a second. Okay. Discharge a mode of thunder dealing 15 nature damage on a chance of hit. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Imagine this. You're dual wielding as a shaman. You're getting discharges of thunder dealing procs of thunder. And you're already a shaman. You're getting wind fury. Wait, I don't even think you can get wind fury yet at 25. So I'm not exactly sure about that one. But... Yeah, that one sounds pretty cool. Even for Warrior, uh, that sounds really cool. I like that. I wonder if it's like AoE or this is a Moat of Thunder. Is that AoE damage? See, that'd be really cool if it was AoE damage. But um, Hammer of Righteous Judgment, 18.85 damage, 50 armor. Not bad, not bad, one-hander. Okay, so 19 damage a second on this next one. It's looking good, it's looking good. This sword right here. Ooh, this sword's looking nice. 23 damage a second and sends a shadow bolt at the enemy. Has a chance on hit. She sends a shadow bolt at the enemy, causing 30 damage. Imagine having two of these as a rogue. They're not unique. Oh, yo, actually, imagine having two of those. 
Hest, Dark Water, Talar. That uh, looks like it's the same thing. Just, I don't know what that is. Test. Oh, two handed weapons. Here we go. This is what I'm going to be looking forward to as a paladin, rep paladin. Guardian Trident. 25 damage a second. I actually don't know if I'm going to be getting one of these because I'm going to be getting the Paladin Mace and it's like 25 damage a second. So I really don't know if there's going to be an upgrade here for me. Um, yeah, Trident of the Guardian Strat. It's just 25 damage a second. Speed 3.0. It's 90. And that's pretty good. Ro Rod of the Ancient Sleepwalker. That's an epic right there. That's an epic. 25 damage a second. Two point speed. Uh, five, plus five shadow resistance. Okay. And then increased damage and healing done by magical spells effects up to 26. Okay. We're going to have some comp. There's going to be a lot of people going for that one. Like you already know that there's only a few people. There's only hunters that are going to go for this bow really. Because it's ranged attack power. You know, if there's a hunter in the group and a warrior, give it to the hunter. <laughs> give it to the hunter. Oh, but this one's going to be competed by a lot of people. It's going to be competed by like everybody that's a caster. Priest, healers, DPS, everything. Oh. Anyways, Twilight Sage Walking Stick. 25 damage a second. Increased dam uh, healing done by spells and effects up to 24. So this is the healing one. Alright, all right, all right, we're back, we're back. For the Guardian Strata, it looks pretty nice. We looked at this one. And this next one, Twilight Sage's Walking Stick. Increases healing done by spells and effects up to 24. So this actually looks pretty good um, for the healers. Yeah, so this one's looking good for healers as well. Now, we got three. It looks like this next one's also a healing one too. So it just looks pretty nice for the healing one. This looks like a druid one, the Wrathful Spire. I mean, the name itself, the Wrathful. So, Wrathful Spire, 25 damage a second. Increases damage done by nature spells and effects by up to 17. So, nature spells, yeah, that's a druid one right there. Increases healing done by spells and effects up to 26. If you don't have a druid, it's a healing one too. It's also, you know, resto druid, but if you don't have a druid in your group, they'll row it to the other healer. That's, uh, it's good, it's good. It's really good. Coral Reef Staff. Axe, I mean Coral Reef Axe, 25 damage, 24.7 damage a second, top hit 98, 3.3 attack speed, this one's looking good, imagine being a warrior, getting that, boom, Fist of the Wild, 20.71 damage, 2.8 speed, 50, plus 59 attack power, and cat, bear, and dire, bear forms only, that's a, that's a druid weapon, that's a druid weapon, Barrel Druid, Tank Druid, ooh, ooh, Deadly, uh, Epic, Deadly Strike of the Hydra, Purple Weapon, 3.5 attack speed, 31.29 damage, it's 132, oh, dang, that's good, that is big, Splash the target with an Ancient Corrosive Poison that deals 20 Nature damage every 3 seconds and lowers the target's armor by 150 for 15 seconds. I don't know about you, but that's a paladin weapon. That's a, that's a oopy weapon right there. That's a weapon for me. That's, yeah, that's going to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, that's, that's, that's fat. Fathom Blade. 3.6 speed. Hits 107, 24.72. Chance on hit, blast all enemies in front of you with pressurized water. Proved, improves your chance to hit with spells and with melee ranged attacks by 1%. Hmm. That sounds kind of cool. That, does sound, that actually sounds kind of cool. I'm, I, I'm with that. I'm with that. <laughs> I want to see what that's like. That sounds really cool. Like a cone of cold or something. And I'm, Yeah, that sounds cool. I wonder how hard it hits. Blast all enemies in front of you with pressurized water. And then you got totems. Uh, those aren't really weapons. Off hands. Oh, you got big ol' shield. Got vampiric boot knife. Hands on hit leech life from victim healing for 10 damage. Gusting wind. Blast a gust of wind deal. Oh. Alright, that's cool. Imagine pairing gusting wind, this fist weapon, 
with this other crashing thunder fist weapon. That'd be so cool. Imagine that on like a a, a warrior, a fury warrior, anything a shaman. That'd be that'd be insane. That'd be really cool. Now we get these big old shields, and increased damage and healing done. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the weapons. Well, get the shield right here. Shell plate barrier. It's a lot of armor, a lot of strength actually. Twelve strength. Yeah. Yeah, this looks crazy. This is definitely a paladin weapon. I don't care if you're a warrior. It's not a warrior weapon because it's a paladin weapon. Um, because I'm playing paladin. That's why it's a paladin weapon. This one also, if this one drops, but this one doesn't, this one's a paladin weapon as well. Um, yeah. So, well, I'm not sure. I gotta check out my mace to see if my mace is better than this one. But I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this purple one is better than my mace. So this purple one definitely is a paladin weapon. Anyways, probably gonna check out the uh, armor, the gear, for another video. Peace.